Good morning, Unadilla Christian Church, friends and family that join us on this YouTube video and worship with us. It is great to um, be with you this morning. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Happy Mother's Day to everyone who has a mom. And we're going to talk a little bit about that in the sermon this morning. Um, the other thing I want to I want to uh, mention this morning is happy graduation to our seniors, uh, Sam Pester and Colt Ernie. We know that, boy, this is not what you expected when you started school in the fall. And I want you to know that we are sorry that you aren't going to get your traditional graduation. Um, but I hope that you feel the love of many as we celebrate with you virtually, as we acknowledge your um, achievement. And uh, you are just both great great, great people. And we are so very proud of you. Normally in church, we would call you forward about now and present you with a graduation gift. Um, obviously that's not happening. So I want you to watch your mailbox this week because we didn't forget you. So anyway, congratulations, congratulations to each of you. This morning, as we um, turn our attention towards worshiping God, we turn to the book of John and in chapter 14, verses 1 through 14, Jesus is speaking to his disciples. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me so that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And if you really knew me, you would know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip? Even after I have been among you such a long time, Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you are not just my own. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me or at least believe on the evidence of the miracles themselves. I tell you the truth. Anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. May God bless the reading of his holy word. This scripture brings such um, comfort to us. And do not let your hearts be troubled. And you know what? In this midst of this pandemic thing, our hearts get troubled. We are... Um, we have one of two things. We're either... In our homes, homeschooling or whatever with our spouses, some of us are working. Um, you're not used to quite that much family togetherness time. Some of us aren't doing life a whole lot different than we were doing life. Um, but some of us who are alone are like, gosh, I'd really like to see my family like really in person, but I know it's not safe. 
and um, Zoom will have to do it for now. So we have all these different ways of doing life right now. And I know for some of you, you're like, okay, this is just a big bunch of hooey. I don't really believe it all. And for some of you who do have the underlying health conditions, you take it very, very seriously. And so whichever way you go is fine because we have Jesus with us. Jesus is with us in spirit. He is walking with us. He is sitting with us. He is conversing with us. And I thought so much of that um, because it is Mother's Day. And I know that um, with our moms, and I'm just going to address that because we've all had moms, right? And so it includes the guys as well. But with our moms, we found just great things. We found really irritating things we find. Um, sometimes they drive us crazy. Sometimes we love them to pieces. Sometimes um, they comfort us with words and actions. And my mom comforted us with food. Um, we always got our favorite food on birthdays and holidays and all that kind of stuff. So um, for those of us whose moms have already transitioned to the heavenly neighborhood, we miss them. And yet we feel them close to us in many ways on very special occasions. Um, even when we're cooking, we might go, oh yeah, mom said, I, I can hear her, I can hear her voice in my head going, no, that's right or that's not right when I'm cooking. Um, and I know there's others of you like that, the same. And that's how I feel this passage of scripture is with us, that Jesus is saying, you know what, I am here. I'm with you. I am the way and the truth and the life. And you don't have to question whether I'm with you or not. And we see it in the scripture. Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is me? Believe me. Believe me when I say I am in the Father and the Father is in me. It's in here twice. So, you know, when your parents said, to believe something that you were going to believe their word you did because you had that trust and you had that um uh just uh, faith that they were telling you the truth and um this sermon is called dancing with jesus and why would we pick such a funny term of dancing with Jesus? Well, I want to go back to when you were kids. Um, did you ever stand on either of your parents' feet listening to music and you pretend danced around a room? Or did you do that with your own children? Did you, did you let them stand on your feet? and you danced around the room and you um, or your nieces or your nephews or whoever, little people, you know, and you danced with them and you held them up and you embraced them. You just, you hug them to you. And I know that right now, unless they're living with you, this isn't a good time to be dancing with them. But um, I want you to think about this is how Jesus is with us right now. We are dancing with Jesus. Isn't that a great picture that we are dancing with Jesus? Because he is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And I want you to cling to that. He is the life. He is what gives us life on a daily basis of hope of faith, 
of perseverance, of an ability to adapt, an ability to adapt. In our pastor's group this week, we talked a little bit, we've been talking about this a little bit the last couple of weeks about how we're seeing this grieving pattern um, nationally, um, community-wise, in our families. And, and when you think about the grief stages that in March we had denial, and in April we've kind of hit the anger phase, you know, and now we're in May and we're really hitting it. And here's one of the ways that we see we're hitting it. In spite of all of the ways that the medical community has said to wear masks, social distance, um, wash your hands, don't touch your face. I have a terrible time not touching my face. Um, when I'm out, I'm really good at wearing a mask and doing social distance. But some people aren't. Some people aren't. And you feel like, oh boy, they're just spitting in the face of this. Um, figuratively. With, uh, I'll do what I want to, when I want to, how I want to. And I think, okay, well, that's their, that's, they can do that. They can do that. I don't have to stand next to them or whatever. Um, and I'm not saying to or not to, I just know what I'm going to do. Okay. And so we, we see these things and I think trust and faith go hand in hand with responsibility. Didn't we have responsibility with our parents? When our mom said to do something, we did it, right? We didn't question, well, at least I didn't. If I questioned, and I'm sure I did, if I questioned, it wasn't like out loud questioning, it was in my head questioning. Um, so, we had this respect and I wonder where is our respect for Jesus when he says, when, when we have to be partners in something that is changing and go back to that grief, that grief analogy. Okay. When we are angry, when we don't want to, when we are acting out in little things, little things. And I want you to act, ask yourselves, are you being triggered by little things? either in person with a family member, um, in your neighborhood, by what's happening in the country, by um, the rules that are set in front of us, are you being triggered? And if you are, I would just ask you to examine where am I at in the grieving process and how is that displaying itself? Um, we all do it. We all do it. And uh, we, we sometimes have to back up and ask ourselves, okay, where is that coming from? And here's what I want to say to you. When we danced with our parents or when we danced with a young person. I want to invite you to dance with Jesus just that way. And I want you to say, I want you to say, okay, Jesus, I got to have help with all of this. I don't like the pandemic. I don't like the challenges it brings. I don't like social distancing. I want to be able to hug people. I want to sit by somebody, but I can't. Not right now. Not right now. And God is calling us to be Christians, to display our Christianity for everyone to see or that we talk to who comes in contact with us. And... Um, that can be a bit of a challenge. So I want you to take to heart, just take to heart 
Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in Jesus. Jesus is preparing us to be with him in person someday. He is dancing with us. Enjoy the dance. Do a twirl. Take heart. This is a magnificent time to learn and to grow and to become deeper in relationship with him. And are we doing things differently? Oh yeah, we are. And that's okay. Amen. So I would invite you to um, get your communion supplies, whatever you choose to use, and we will we will gather for communion together. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and he broke it. He said to the disciples, this is my body broken for you. Take and eat and do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, as he poured wine into the goblet, he said, with this, I bring a new covenant. This is my blood shed for you. Take and drink and do this in remembrance of me. I would invite you to pray with me. Most gracious God, thank you that we can gather, that we can feel the kindred spirits worshiping you this morning, and that you are with us where two or three are gathered. In your name, there you shall be also. We confess to um, liking to do church in person better for some of us. And for some of us, we like to do church this way. Where we can reflect and be relaxed and drink our coffee. And that's okay. We are grateful that you are with us. God, we confess to you that we do like to dance with you. We really enjoy dancing with you. But we confess that sometimes we just really like to take the lead instead of letting you take the lead. We thank you that your arms are around us. that we can hold tightly to you through the unknown times, through the unknown new way of doing life. God, I lift up all the moms today. I ask that you bless them. I thank you for the nurturing they do. And I ask that you give them guidance and that they feel your Holy Spirit with them. I thank you for all of our moms, many of whom are home with you, and I thank you for the guidance they gave to us. So Lord, on this Mother's Day, we give you thanks for that. I thank you for Sam and for Colt and for all the other graduates. I pray that you are ahead of them in their journey of life, 
that you um, guide and direct them, that they seek out your will for their lives. I ask that you place a hedge of protection around them and keep them with you at all times. So Lord, we worship you this day and we pray together the prayer that your son taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.